Well, greetings and salutations from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, a 1963 Pontiac Catalina two-door hardtop. Give you all the details, you're going to want to watch this one. What a great muscle car. <laughs> Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest addition to our sales floor, which is well over 100 vehicles right now, a 1963 Pontiac Catalina, and is this thing really a potential muscle car? Even before that stuff was just starting to be going in that direction, Pontiac, of course, always was one of the leaders in that field. Now, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a cold start, we're going to do a walk around, give you all the details of this really neat, neat early muscle car, if you will. Now, you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to this car on our website where you have the pricing and more information as well. Plus, you have access to our, well, as I said, over 100 vehicles currently in inventory. Now, our cars go back into the 1920s, all the way up into the 70s and 80s and beyond. So if you're looking for your first or your 100th classic or collectible, odds are Ellingson Motor Cars may have your dream car sitting right here on the sales floor. Best to take a look, you bet. Well, let's get into the details of this really, really nice car. Car has been owned by an avid collector uh, in Minnesota here for many, many years. He always has impeccably done cars, very nicely taken care of, and it's got the nice options. I think that's probably one of the things most people are looking for now when you're looking at some of these collector cars. If you're something you want to drive or whatever, you like to have some of those extra bells and whistles. Now, in 1963, you'd get the 389, which was a potent motor in and of itself, but every one of those cars had the option of having a tri-power on it, which gave you even more performance, over 300 horsepower, and guess what's under the hood? 389 with a tri-power. Now, you talk about some performance, you hook that up behind, I'm looking in here, a four-speed manual transmission. Now you're getting closer to having something a little more fun, and then the final piece is the safety track posi rear end in this thing. So you really have, in 1963, a very potent uh, street racer, street car, if you will, that really had some nice performance. Plus, it was a good year for Pontiac. I mean, I love the, uh, the uh, color of the car. I mean, it's uh, just absolutely one of those things that comes out of the early 60s. It's really, really great color. You've got the uh, beautiful uh, changeover in the front end. They went from the headlights going sideways this way to being up and down. And then they split the grill. Just gives it a real modernistic look. Look down the sides of the car, a little more square, a little more whatever. So it's give it a real nice, you know, new changeover, if you will, for cars of that era. Don't you love, they make sure to let you know which model you're looking at. I mean, right on the front fender says Catalina. And I mean, that is really one of those things that just, you know, you know when you pull up alongside Catalina and you go, hmm, wonder what's under the hood of this one. Um, the other thing that this also has, and as we always remind all of our listeners and people who watch the videos, in this time frame, when you ordered cars, you had to order everything that you wanted. In other words, there wasn't necessarily uh, a package deal per se, but if you wanted to have power steering, which this car does have, you wanted to have power brakes, which this car does, you wanted to have the uh, eight lug aluminum wheels, which was an upgrade for these cars, that was another option. And this does have them, by the way, with the radial tires, with the correct thinner white wall tire, I'll tell you what, the radial tires is probably one of the biggest improvements for all these old cars, just for drivability, handling, going down the road, it's just a better thing. Back in the day, we were used to, you know, the old belted bias tires, but you know what, this is really makes this car a much more pleasurable car to drive. And again, like I said, power steering and power brakes to boot. But uh, Grenadier red, beautiful color. Look at the interior on this car. I mean, that is a throwback, does it not? Remind you of the cars of that era. It's got the uh, old uh, chrome tack to the side of the steering column, the little skinny four-speed shifter on the floor. 
Again, the nice thing about this car, it hasn't been butchered up, hasn't been changed. Very, very original. If you look at the interior, the dash is nice, speedometer, is all that stuff is in place with the AM radio. Someone has, of course, put seat belts in it as well. I mean, the tritone color, I mean, you got the vinyl cloth interior in this thing. Really, really a nice looking interior on these cars. Another one of my favorite features, of course, the vent windows. Vent windows were a great way to suck in a little extra fresh air into the engine compartment, especially if you were <clears throat> kids in the back seat, mom and dad were smoking. It was kind of nice to get that fresh air coming in. Like I said, in these days, everything was special ordered. You had to make sure if you wanted to have an outside mirror, that was an optional item as well. Now look at the size of the trunk space in this car. My goodness, you can get one or two sets of golf clubs in this car and you can haul them there really fast if that's what you want to do. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even now TikTok. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much and you will find lots of entertainment by going to those sites. You'll have all the information. This car, our current inventory, and as an added feature, you'll find cars we sold in the past as well. So if you really have some time to peruse the internet and see all the stuff that Ellingson's has sold over the last few years, take a look at those sites. Yes, this was the beginning of the muscle car era, I mean, so to speak. I mean, uh, Chevrolet was on the game. The big problem that came up at this time of year is GM and all those, they decided, well, we can't really be let you get in, in the racing aspect. So people had to go out, and they already had a feeling for that with Pontiac, having the tri-powers and whatnot. They were performance-orientated, but people were still geared into this. Look what came out the next year, the GTO, of course. But this is kind of predates that, and it gives you all that performance plus the good looks of 1963, in my opinion. Well, if you're like me, you're gonna say, I love your videos, I like all that stuff, I can see the picture is a cold start, but I wanna see it in person. Well, you're more than welcome to come to Ellingson Motor Cars. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to five, and Saturdays 10 to four as well. So if you gotta come down, look at it in person, Love to have you come on by. Now, we can also be uh, assistance if you're looking for, you need financing, you need shipping. I live in California, how am I gonna get this car? We have certainly some uh, resources that we can lead you onto to help you get a car shipped any place in the world. And we've got some companies and banks that uh, we use in the, as well for the collector car market, for people that know what old cars are and they understand collector car marketing and how much it costs. So that stuff is available. Nope, this is one of those cars, like I said, you love to have some history. This fellow, as I said, is a big time collector, taking really good care of this car, anything it ever needed, he always did it. And it's got all the features that you know we're looking for. Power steering, power brakes, four speed, big block, posi, I mean, the, uh, the correct eight lug wheels. This thing with the dual exhaust really is nice. Well, thank you again for watching our video. We appreciate it very much. And remember our website is ellingsonmotorcars.com so you can find all of our inventory there. So thank you again and we'll see you next time.